Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Okay, so in the previous video, I exported some photos from iPhoto, and you'll see I have them on the desktop in these two folders, which you can also see here. And now I'm going to show you how to burn them to a CD or DVD. It really doesn't make any difference whether it's a CD or DVD. So the first step is I'm putting in a blank CD-ROM. And that'll take a few seconds for the Mac to recognize that it's there. It should bring up a window asking me what I want to do. There it is. You've inserted a blank CD. Basically, what do you want to do? One of the options is you could bring it into iTunes, or Disk Utility, but for now, I just want to open it in a Finder. And now you'll see it shows up over on your desktop as just Untitled CD. So let's give that a nice name. Uh, I'll title this Great Photos. So there's a few ways that you can add files, which could be photos or basically any file, to this. You could just drag them right onto there. Or over here in the Finder window, you see there's that Great Photos blank CD, and it has this kind of warning symbol telling you that uh, it's, it's a blank CD and it's ready to be burned. Um, I like using this method here because it also tells you how much space is available. And it tells you up here, recordable CD. So I'll just drag this folder over. And when I let go, now it tells me how much more space I have available. But since I don't want this video to be any longer, I'll leave it at that and show you how to burn. When you've dragged everything you want to be on the CD into this area, then just click the Burn button. It gives you one last chance to name it. And you can change the speed if you want, but the max almost always works for me. And then just click Burn. And you can see here the process it goes through. I'll let that go and come back in a second. Okay, I'm in the middle of the process here. You can see it finally started writing to the CD, which is called burning to the CD. And you can see the uh, progress bar and the percent complete here. So I'll be back in a second when this is almost done. And now it goes through a second step, which is verifying. This is making sure that everything that was meant to be written to the CD actually got written. Okay, the verification is almost done. And that's the sound you get when it's all done. Now you'll see that it shows up again, but now it's not a burnable CD. It's a CD with data on it. So I'll double click on that to take a look. There's the folder that we put on there. And there are all the files. And you'll also notice that since this is a CDR and not a CDRW, that there's no room available. That a CDR you can just burn to it once. Even if it had a lot of available space, once you burn it, you're done with that one. So, hope that helped. Have fun burning photos or anything else to CDs so you can share them with your friends.